Hi, good afternoon, everybody. It's Aisha, the artsy grandma. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Thought I'd come on today and show you uh, what I'm going to make. I've been challenged by Ashley, who's paper and twine here on uh, YouTube, to make um, do the five card challenge. Uh, you do four cards off camera, you make one on camera. So I thought today what I'd use, I thought I'd use the um, the kit that came in Papercraft Essentials issue 200. Um, this is the kit that came with it. So you get lots of little dip, bits and pieces here and it says um, 200 plus digital stamps, paper and more. Now I've not actually printed anything off. I'm just going to use what's here um, in the pack um, and we'll see, um, let's have a look at the examples that they've shown. If I can find it, let me just find it. This is it. So they've um, shown lots of different examples of what you can make with the uh, and that's a pyramid card which Ashley made when um, she did her five card challenge. Um, there's um, a shaky card. Um, so in the kit itself we get four pieces of card. Um, you get these two shaker bubbles, sequins, some stamps. Um, get these uh, die cuts which you can just pop out so you can uh, there's four lots of die cuts there they're lovely colours pinks and yellows and very light pastel colours there's some pop outs along here as well which will come in really handy uh, and the gold foil around the edge and they have actually provided some okay they've provided a sheet of acetate and one, two, three, four, five, six sheets of a floral. Um, I think they're all. It's one with birds on, one with butterflies on. No, no, butterflies. They're all butterflies, not birds. These are butterflies as well. These are butterflies as well. Um, it's one with uh, spots on. And the rest, these. Oh, right, two floral ones. Two of these blue, like a turquoise blue butterfly ones. And there's a yellow one with butterflies on. And then there's this polka dot one. Um, so we've got all these different elements that we've got, which we're going to use. Now, I looked back at the... Uh, I looked back at the video that um, Ashley mentioned and it was Dee Dee Crafts who um, challenged her uh, and it was originally started by Crafting with Gertie. Now I'm not familiar to her channel but uh, obviously I will go and have a look. Now there's some nose and some, you can't use stamps, inks, a cameo, cricket or a scanning cut or embossing folders. Uh, but you can use a die cutting machine, uh, three dies or three punches, and you can't mix them. Um, what else can you use? You can use gems, stickers, peel-offs, foils, um, sharpies, pattern card, paint, ribbon. Yeah, so there's quite a good selection of what you can use. And I think because I'm going to use all the elements which are in this uh, pack, which... I'm just going to use all these. I think um, we should be okay. So yeah, let's see what we come up with. So I'll make, I'll make the four cards and then I'll come back and make the fifth card on camera with you. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, so I've made some of the element, the cards. I've made the cards. These um, um, colored cards that came in the packet. They were just over eight by eight. 
So what I did, I cut them down into half and the cards I've made are four by four. So I've used the pink one. I've used the yellow butterfly paper. I've used one of the um, die cuts. And this here, this happy birthday, is not part of this set. It's a, a tag which I had in my stash. And I thought the colours went really well together. So I've just cut it down um, from both sides. So I've got these two cards with the butterflies on. I've got two different butterflies on there. So that's the pink card. Then I've made these two. So I've used the floral paper on the back there. And these were the die cuts that came in the pack. So I've used those two on each of these. Then obviously the sequins are in the pack. So you know me and my sequins. So I've added some sequins on there. And on the inside there's some paper. Like a bit of paper left over from what I'd cut. So I thought well I'll stick it down at the bottom. I thought it would look nice. So that's two there. And the pink card. I've done this one here where I've I'm not really good at making shaker cards, but uh, the shaker elements were in there, so I thought um, I've got this round circular floral frame. This was on the actual pack itself. I've just cut it out from here, um, thought, rather than waste it, and I've just gone round the outside of it with um, one of these uh, yellow spectrum noir markers. So. And I thought, I mean, that's already five cards, but I thought what we'd do is try and make the, the last card on on camera. Now, like I say, I have, this is one of the uh, die cuts on there. It's the other part of the pink card, which I'm going to use. So this was one of the frames that came... So this was one of the frames that was there um, and it has a lot of this gold foiling on. So I've cut away all the gold foiling because I just thought it was too much. And then because I've managed to cut it away, it actually fits on this 4x4 four four card as well. And then, see this is one of the die cuts that was in there. So I thought we'll, we'll make it on camera together. Um, I have kept all these cards very simple um, purely because I didn't want to didn't want to take a lot of your time so that's where it's going to go so let me stick this down first That should go there. Let me just check if that's all right. Yeah, I think that sounds about, that looks all right, that. So let's just press that down. Now, just to save a little bit of time, I've actually stuck all the uh, sticky tape on the back there, the double uh, double sided tape. Um, so what I need to do now is get that stuck onto there and then we can fill some sequins in there. Oh, where's that little pack of sequins that came? Right. So this pack of sequins um, came in the kit. So what we'll do is get this stuck down. You 
can get that. Which side are we on now? That's, I think that should. I think, yeah, that's all right. So let's just stick this down like that. And then the last one is this one up here, which I'm going to. Just need to put the uh, sequins in there, so let's just put some sequins in and, and finish it off. Right, I'm going to do this bit off camera because I can't see it well, I've got it underneath the camera. It. So I have dropped a few sequins, I have to clear all that up now. Um, so what I'll do, I've got a little pot here with sequins in, I'll just empty it into there. I didn't actually print any of the uh, in the booklet itself it does say that there is um, some elements where you can print off but I've got this little happy birthday in my stash so I thought we could add that onto there like that or maybe just across the top like that um, yeah let's just stick that onto there like that let me just get some little squares, get some form squares so we can add those on. Um, I've had fun now using this kit. Um, normally it would have just got left behind, you know, when these kits come, I tend not to do anything with them or you know, after a long time I would have done something, but uh, it's um, challenging me to use my stash, so I thought I really enjoyed it. Um, Um, and they are all, they're not too complicated, the cards aren't too complicated. Um, so, let's just take the sticky just Bear with me while I take the uh, sticky tape off the back of the squares. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to put that at the top there. That's made a lovely shaky card. So yeah, I've been really pleased. So that's what we've made on camera. This was one I'd made earlier. Now this one I'd used form tape all round so it is slightly raised. And you can see there it is slightly raised. So then these are the two um, with the floral papers. And these are the two with the butterfly papers. Okay everybody. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Um, 
I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, seeing how I've made these cards, especially this shame, because I'm no good at making kit shaker cards. But with the um, with these elements already in there, it was uh, I made it so much easier for me. Okay, everybody, look after yourselves, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.